In this video I'm going to show you my complete horror mood board and explain why I've chosen each image and how they relate to the horror genre. To create my horror mood board I researched symbolism used in horror films and also connotations of the word horror. I have included this image in my mood board because religion is very frequently used in horror films with themes of life and death, spirituality, man playing God, man fighting inner as well as outer demons as well as good versus evil which this image shows. This image is also used to represent symbols of death as death is often shown in horror films and there are countless representative objects which show this idea such as coffins, gravestones, skeletons and angels of death, along with more. I have included these images in my mood board because many films use colour to symbolise themes and the powers of good and evil. Red is often associated with evil, blood, lust and violence. Black is also naturally associated with evil, whilst light, neutral colours or earth tones are associated with good or the general population. Light can symbolise many things such as hope, transition, escape and even death in horror films, which is why I've included these images in my mood board. Sunlight normally provides a sense of comfort, so the unsuitability of sunlight with horror can be especially unnerving. Candles, lanterns and flashlights are common sources of light in horror films, as the light can only be cast so far while the surrounding darkness is full of shadows. A majority of horror films involve the use of weapons, from machine guns to saws. The use of weapons suggests masculine power being dominant in horror films, which is why I've chosen these images for my mood board. Fabric appears in many forms in horror films, such as drapes, tapestries and furniture dust coverings, which is why I've chosen to include these in my mood board. Fabric can disguise horror and intensify it through movement or the suggested presence of something behind it. The protagonist can also hide behind fabric, but of course is not protected by it. Keys and locks symbolise secrets, confinement and hidden objects or places, which is why this image has been used in my mood board. Doors and windows have many symbolic meanings. Often, they help symbolise characterisation. With windows, a person has a limited perspective and is like a spectator, not part of the outside world. The person looking through the window may be frightened of the world outside or physically unable to be part of it. On the other hand, a character can walk through a door as doors are symbolic of opportunity. In horror, however, doors and windows are typically a means of entrapment or freedom. They are also highly utilised for building suspense, which is why I have included these images in my mood board. Mazes and labyrinths have often appeared in horror to heighten the protagonist's lack of control, which is why I have used this image in my mood board. Dolls have often appeared in horror films as the difference between a child's toy and danger can make it unnerving, as dolls normally represent happiness, innocence and care. Yet, their distorted human qualities, such as oversized heads, unblinking eyes or exaggerated features, can make them especially eerie. Dull appearances can be subtle in horror films. A doll on a string represents a figure that is not in control of its movements or destiny, much like a protagonist in a horror film. The same unnerving effect has been used with clowns, though they have been so overused that they have lost much of this effect. Dolls, on the other hand, come in so many forms, from voodoo to Barbie dolls and battered antiques to contemporary ones, that they offer vast opportunities for symbolic use. A doll's symbolism, which may be expressed through children's play or other means, might include sexuality, lack of control, death, desire, regret, families, ageing and much more which is why I have chosen these images for my mood board. Masks are most often used to disguise evil in horror films, which is why I have chosen to show them in my mood board. Masks don't show any movement except from the eyes, which makes them especially unnerving like dull faces. I have chosen these images for my mood board because mirrors or a mirror effect, such as reflections in glass or water, can have many symbolic meanings, though typically represent the multiple dualities of characters. Broken mirrors have obvious connotations of shattered lives and personalities. Mirrors can also represent vanity themes and can also reflect dangers. Rope has many symbolic meanings, from bondage, flogging and death, the noose, to a means of escape or survival. In horror, ropes are most often used as a form of bondage, 
which is why I have shown this image in my mood board. Horrors typically include abandoned houses and villages, as well as including themes of possession and death, which is why I have included these images in my mood board. In horrors, there is also a lot of scares and screams, which is why I have included this word in my mood board as well. I have also included covers of horror films in my mood board to show the different subgenres and what is typically seen on a horror film cover. I also included a word cloud in my mood board, which helped me to choose some of my other images by giving me connotations of the word horror. Thank you for watching this video of my horror mood board and the explanation of the images it includes.